Question eight, we want to see which answer choice is true. So let's look at answer choice A. It is a function because it passes the horizontal line test. A horizontal line looks like this. And in algebra one, we do not do anything called a horizontal line test. Let's look at answer choice B. It is not a function because it is not a straight line. That is not true. Functions can be other things besides straight lines. Or they could be straight lines. It just depends on the test we're about to do. Let's look at C. It is not a function because it is a quadratic. This right here, this graph right here is, is not a quadratic. A quadratic is like this. But that doesn't mean that this graph that we're looking at in 8 is not a function. So just by going through this, we know the answer choice is D, but let's figure out why. It is a function because it passes the vertical line test, the vertical line test. So if we look, I have a vertical line drawn, and if you remember that if you have a vertical line, you can also call it the pencil test. Notice as I move this vertical line through the graph, it is only touching the graph one time while I'm testing it. You can also draw vertical lines and you'll notice that it's only going to hit the graph one time. So our answer is D. 10. The graph to the right shows the change in the value of a car over several years. Looking at locations A, so we're going to look at location A, location B, which is going to be this guy right here. This is location B. And then location C. Which of the following answer choices is true? So we want to know which one is true. Let's start here. Let's, let's go and look at answer choice or location A here. If you look at this, this is actually the y-axis. And where that graph crosses the y-axis, we call that the y-intercept. So we know that the asymptote is not location A. In fact, asymptote is kind of like, if you want a kid-friendly definition, it's kind of like if you had a plane and it was about to come in for a landing, but it's never going to touch the landing. It's never going to touch the, the runway. So this would be your asymptote. So it just gets close as it possibly can, and it just stays there forever. And knowing that definition, we know that if we were to say, let's look for a runway, well, it looks like location B does that. See how this plane's coming in? So our asymptote is located at location B. 14, function k has a parent function. We talked about parent functions. There are three different parent functions in algebra one that we look at. We look at the linear parent function, I'll just abbreviate. We look at the quadratic parent function. And then we also look at the exponential parent function. So let's keep reading. The table shows some ordered pairs that belong to k, which graph shows the parent function. So we want to know which one of these graphs, A, B, C, or D, matches up to this table. You could plot those points on paper. You could actually come over here and draw in X and Y axis and plot those points. Or you can use stat plot. And that's what I'm going to do in this example. So we're going to go under stat, edit. And if you notice that, these values on the left, those are my L1s. I put those in the calculator already. The values on the right, those are my Y values. Those are my L2s put those in the calculator. But when I hit graph, nothing is showing up. So what I want to do is I have to actually tell the calculator, I need you to plot these points. I need you to do something with what I've given you. So we're going to go second, and then we're going to go under stat plot here, hit enter. We're going to turn plot one on. Now the calculator knows I want you to plot those points. And I also am going to ask the calculator to connect the dots so I can see the graph. And now when I hit graph, you'll see part of the graph. But I want to see the whole thing. Well, I'm missing some points. If you look right here, the y value goes all the way up to 20. To get the y to go to 20, you have to go under window. And we're going to change the maximum value of y. Let's change it to 30. Let's go a little bit more than 20 and hit graph. And now you can see that the graph of this table, it looks like it's coming down and then it's on its way back up. And you could actually extend that back and go, oh, you know what? That looks like a quadratic. 
And so our answer is B. 15, the graph of a function is shown on the grid. Which ordered pair, so which ordered pair, best represents the location of the x-intercept? We want to know where does this graph cross the x-axis? And so if we look right here, this is our x-axis. We want to know where does that graph cross the x-axis? Well, if you look, this is actually 1. And if you look where it crosses the x-axis, it actually crosses at less than 1. So let's make a prediction here. Let's go through and let's plot this point A. If I were to rewrite this, I could write it as a decimal if I wanted to. 0.33 repeating, 0. What that means is you're going to go to the right 0.33. So if I go to the right 0.33, which is a little bit less than half, and go up 0, notice that I hit exactly where it crosses the x-axis. So my answer is A. 17. The function y equals, they give me some coordinates, can be represented in several other ways, which is not, so we're looking for something that is false, which is not a correct representation of the function. Let's look at A. This is called a map, or it's mapping. What this means is 1, an x value of 1 goes with 2, so 1 comma 2, yes, that's it. 2, 4, that worked, 3, 6 and 4, 8. This is true. We're looking for something that is false. So I'm going to cross out A. Let's look at letter C. X is a number less than 5. Are my X values all less than 5? That, is, that part is true, but we need to test the Y value. Let's see what it says about the Y. The Y is twice the value of X. Is this number here 2 times the value of the X? Yes. Is 4 2 times the value of 2? Yes. Is 6 2 times the value of 3? Yes. 8 is 2 times the value of 4? Yes. This is true. So by process of elimination, we know our answer is B. But why is it B? Well, it's kind of blurry here. I know that. But if we were to plot our points, here's the origin. If I go over 2 and up 1, that would be my first coordinate. Notice that what I have here is backwards from what I have there. So this is a false representation of these points. They're plotted backwards. They're plotted incorrectly. So my answer is B.